The following is his presentation of Retro Sports Network, home of the champions of the past, present, and or future. And hi everybody, happy Friday the 26th of June. My name is Ron Juckett and today, on this week's version of Omnibus, we're going to try out some gymnastics, probably one of the least spreadsheet friendly sports ever. But if we're going to do a replay of the summer of Tokyo, which actually was in the fall, if you knew that, uh, then you guys certainly have to do gymnastics, and so that will probably be broken up into several videos. The more I look into this, despite the fact that the 64 Olympics were much smaller than they were today, the more and more and more we go. But today we go back to 1976 and the Montreal Forum and the women's individual finals for their four apparatus, or apparati. Uh, the 1976 is best known for the first ever perfect 10 in Olympic competition. That would be Nadia Comaneci. And she's got a shot at four of them because she's rated high enough in the vault, the uneven bars, the balance beam, and the floor exercises to actually do it. And so when we get to the Olympic part of our, you know, gymnastic part of our replay, there are three events per gender. There are the individual events, which is what we're going to do for you today, from 1976, not 1964. The all-around, which is pretty much the same thing over again, except for it's a total of the four, with the last one dropped, I think. I'm not sure. I have to take a look. And then the team event, uh, which we will figure out a way to condense to make that one reasonable so you're not sitting there watching rolling dice over and over and over again. Uh, for the men, there are six apparatus, or apparati, and so there'll be six individual uh, gold medals up for grabs, one all-around gold medal up for grabs, and the team. And Japan is going to contend for both the individual all-around. Uh, Japan should do quite well, and so we'll feature that quite prominently because that is the home country and it is the game's of Tokyo. So we're going to see how this goes. We're going to do, we won't do every roll on camera for all four, but you will see the best of the best go out of here. Now, there are two rounds uh, from each of the apparatus in the individual. Up until 1996, there was a compulsory uh, place where everyone had to do the same jump or performance or dance because uh, for the floor exercises and you were based on that you judged on that and then you had the optional which is kind of like the free skate and free skating uh, you could do what you wanted within reason and the two scores are total up and the top three obviously will get medals so there you go so it's time now to go back to 1976 in the Montreal form if you thought I would ever say let's go to the form and not be in a hockey game for my beloved Montreal Canadiens a year ago, well, you know how that goes. All right, so let's show you what's going on. So the game basically takes the three six-sided die, which is the red die you see in the bottom of the screen there, and then the dreaded, if we get triples, by the way, in the red die. Then you go to the 10 sider, which is the green die, and read off a special chart, which you cannot see. And so here's our favorites for the vault. We did not include everybody, obviously. We wanted the people who could met, go for a medal, pretty much a top eight uh, from each of the disciplines. So although you see Anna Polda Guva of Czechoslovakia as an E from Czechoslovakia, she obviously does well on the floor and can do well on the parallel or the uneven bars the parallel bar, one of the bars. We also included the top American gymnast, which is Kim Chase, and the top Canadian gymnast, because this is in Montreal, and Karen Kelsall. So we'll be back when we roll for uh, the bees in the vault. So we've reached where all the medalists could be for at least the uh, compulsory vault. Marta Egerberry of Hungary had a 9.9 .9 in her compulsory vault. Canada's Karen Kelsall did not have a good vault. Uh, also, good vaults, Marion Kish of East Germany and Tadora Ungarunu of Romania. 
So with a 9-8. So Marie, Mariana Constantine of Romania will be the first compulsory vault here. So the lower the dice total, the better off we're going to be. That's the better score. And Constantine runs. She rolls a B11. And B11 is a 9.8. Now, Gitta Escher of East Germany. Oof. Not what she wanted. 14 on a B is a 9.6. Olga Corbett, the darling of Munich. This is her second strongest event. She'll be good on the beam, and she will excel again on the... I mean, she'll be perfect on the beam and do well on the floor. The bars will be her undoing. She should not meddle there. And that's not what she wants either. That's a 14 and that is a 9.6. Disappointing start for Corbett. Now Ludmila Tereshava from the Soviet Union who should be one of the top scorers when we go, well, if we did the all around team all-around competition. And she does her vault, and that's an excellent one. That's a roll of a 5B. That's a 9.9 .9 for Tereshava. And now Nadia Komenichi. She is a B here. If she rolls... A straight 1-1-1, one, one, one. she can get a 10, but 9-9 nine, nine is what she's looking for here in the first vault. And, eh, you know, that's not great. 12-B is a 9.7. And finally, Nellie Kim of the Soviet Union. So a couple 9-9s nine, on the board and the compulsories. She starts a run. And, oh, my goodness, that's an A. She hit her dismount, and she rolls a perfect 10. So as far as the compulsory concer is concerned, Nellie Kim rolls a 10. And halfway home through the vault, she's in excellent shape. We'll show you the last four of the optionals in a moment. Uh, the whole purpose of this video was to do all, everything for Nadia Komenich. 9-7 was what her compulsory jump was, Now, or the vault now. She'll do her optional. Olga Corbett had a 9-9 in hers, and so she's in first place at 19-5. So Nadia starts a run. Again, not a great one. That's a 10 on the B, and we add the 3, and that is a 9-8. That's not bad. And at the moment, she's tied with Olga Corbett at 19.5. But now, with five or six to one, two, five to go, let's do the nine eights. Marion Kish of East Germany. Nine eight, her first. We're reading off the C. Seven and eleven. Uh, eleven C is a nine seven. So she's got a 19.5. Mariana Constantine. She's reading off the B. And it's a good roll. That's a 6B. And that's a 9.9. Nine. Oh, very good. And that puts her in the middle contention at 19.7. Now, Marta Egeveri of Hungary. She had a 9.9 nine in her compulsory. And she makes the run on hers. That is not great. That is 7 and 5 is 12. See, that is 9.6. So she'll be disappointed with that. And that puts her in the 19.5 range. 
So Mariana Constantine is going to medal here in the vault. Now here's Ludmila Tereshava of the Soviet Union. 9-9, her first. And she makes the run and hits the vault at 7-2 and two is 9. And that's a 9-9. Nine, nine. So... So she's at 19.8. So what a vault for Tara Sheva. Now here is Nellie Kim. She needs a 9.9 nine to win the gold. A 9.8. And we would do some sort of 10-sided die thing to see how we break it up. But it looks like Constantine of Romania, Tara Sheva of the Soviet Union, have met her. Let's see how Nellie Kim does. Her strongest event. A good run, but no. 13 on the A and 9-8. And so now we need to go to a secondary thing for the medals. We know that Constantine has won the silver at 19.7. Or bronze, rather, at 19.7. So to break the tie, that's not what we're going to roll a 10-sider. Whoever gets the higher roll wins the gold. So Kim rolls a 3, and Tereshava rolls an 8. So a further review, Tura Sheba's 995 in the vault in the original gets her the gold. 1985, Nellie Kim with the silver, a 10 and a 98. Perfect compulsory vault, but the original was not that as good. In fact, Constantine and Olga Corbett beat her. And Komanichi a disappointing 97 and a 98 to finish at 195 and out of the medals. So next, the bars. And this is one of the three events, uh, the three remaining events, that Nadia Komunici should get a medal in. She's rated an A, along with Marta Egeviari of Hungary and Tadora Ungureanu of Romania. Her fellow country woman are all A's. The B's, the gold medalist in the vault, Ludmila Tereshava, Mariana Constantine of Romania, Marian Kish of East Germany, and Geta Escher of East Germany. Nelly Kim, who won the silver in the vault, is not very good on the bars, and neither is Olga Corbett. And so we'll spare you the compulsory portion of it. We'll just tell you about that, and then we'll do the last five of the optionals. So this video does not take forever. By the way, uh, Kim Chase in the United States, this is her best event. She's ready to see, so she could possibly do something here. And Karen Kelsall of Canada is considerably better here being a D form and on the floor with the D form. So we will show you the results after we don't do the compulsory portion of the bars. So after the compulsory version of the bars, Nadia Komanichi, Tendora Unganuru, and Ludmila Tereshava, and Marion Kish of East Germany all at 9 9 in a contention for the medal. Egaviari and Chase. Had a wonderful performance in the compulsory. She rolled a 9-8. And everyone else kind of on the bottom there. Um, Constantine of Romania disappointing 9-7. And Kim, you figured that she would not be that good from the Soviet Union. This is her weakest event. She rolled a 9-6. So what we're going to do here so we don't have so many ties is that if we roll a what? An even or an odd on the 10-sider that's going to turn it to a 995, and an even will keep it at a zero. So that will do. So when we get to Kim Chase, we'll start showing it to you again. But that's what we have after the compulsory part of the bars competition. Again, disappointing for Escher. She finished dead last with a 95. It really doesn't matter what she does here. I'm not sure she can catch. 
So as we get to those who did the 9.8s and 9.9s who could medal here, Maria Con Maria Mariana Constantine of Romania had a 9.95. Geta Escher of East Germany was so pumped up after her, or so upset after her compulsory that she jumped up a chart and her optionals performs a 9.85 performance. Uh, Nelly Kim, the silver medalist in the vault, disappointing optional at a 9.3, and Olga Corbett at a 9.35. So at the moment, it, the gold medal, the leader in the clubhouse would be Constantine at 19.65. The silver would be Karen Kelsall of Canada, who had a very good performance, a 9.8 on her optionals. And the bronze would go to Geta Escher at 9.85. Now Kim Chase had a 9.8. And this, like I said, is her best event. It would be a very impressive medal if she could do it. So she gets a benefit of the doubt here. She gets an odd, so she's going to get a .5 to her 5 roll on a C. And that is a 995. And at the moment... That puts her in gold medal position at 1975. Now here is Marta Egeveari of Hungary. She's reading out of the A. She's going to get the point five because that's a nine. Five and two is seven for a nine, nine, five. If we need to, we'll do the rolls for the compulsories to get the the point five. But right now, 1975 is the score to beat. Now, Marion Kish from East Germany, reading out of the B column. And that's not a great performance. It's a 13, and it's a 9-7, and she's not going to get any help. And so she is out of metal contention with a 19-6. Now, Ludmilla Tereshieva of the Soviet Union. She won the gold in the vault. Looking for her second medal here in the individual events. 9-9 nine, nine, and her compulsory and we'll be reading off the B chart. She does not get the point five because that green die is a six. Eight and three is eleven and that's a nine point eight. And so 197, she may not medal at all because we have two 1975s on the board already. Now, off the A column, Tadora Ungureno of Romania. 9-9 in her compulsory. And that's an 8. She's going to get the point 5. 8A is a 9.95. And so she's in at 1985. And so Komanichi needs a 995 or better to win the gold. If she gets a 10, she'll win it. So Ungarenu is going to medal. And it looks like Egavayari and Chase are going to get bronze. So Komanichi. On the bars. Ooh, I, I don't think so. She's going to get the point five. She rolled the seven, six, and fives, 11 on an A, 995. And so we have four medals here, up, four women up for three medals. So now we're going to roll for the bronze. Egebeari and Chase, we're going to do the tiebreaker for the compulsories here. That's the green die. Egaviary rolls a six. Chase rolls a four. So Egaviary will win the bronze. A 985 in the compulsories and a 995 in the bars. A 198 is good enough for a bronze. Now, same deal. Higher of the 10 cider wins the gold. Uganorenu rolls a 5. Komanichi rolls a 7.
And that's good enough for the gold. We'll tell you about it in a moment. So the bars, Metals, Kobanichi with the gold, a 19.9 to 9.95. Not quite perfect. Ungarenu got the silver, so more good news for Romania. And Edgar Veari of Hungary with the bronze, a 9.85 and a 9.95. And so we've had two events and six different medalists here. And so we'll go right to the beam in a moment. And we'll show you, after the compulsories, uh, who lines up for what as we go for gold in the third of our four individual events. Well, I'll bring it back for the three medalists for possible medalists here. Constantine of Romania had a very bad balance beam compulsory, 8.7. Karen Kelsall struggled so much, she slipped down two bits on the form, and she's at a 9. Right now, get an Escher trying to get back in the medal hunt, a 9-9. Nine, nine. And so, it's time for Munich's darling Olga Corbett here on the balance beam. And she reads an 11 on the A. For a 9.9. Now, Ungarenu, silver medalist on the bars. 8 is a 9.9. Nine. And now, Nadia Komanichi, who's not had the 10, that belonged to Nelly Kim on the compulsory in the vault. On the balance beam. Her compulsory routine is not good at all. In fact, it's a 9.6. Oof. And so gold is going to be tough for Komanichi here as she rolled a 17. The best roll you can get is a 3. You add up all the red ones and take the result from there. So a 9.6. And so we'll sort this all out and give you the last four when we come back. So Ogana Redu, Corbett, and Escher are all at 9-9. Nelly Kim of the Soviet Union has a 9-8 on the board. And those are your top four heading in to the optionals. So as we head to the optional part of the beam, we had yet another 10, but again, it wasn't Komanichi. It was Marta Egeveari of Hungary, who got on the special chart, rolled a 10, and she will not meddle, but she's in decent shape, 19-2. So she's, this is the weakest of her three events, but she's still going to get a bronze out of the uneven bar, or the parent, whatever bars they do. I got to look it up. Her, so a good overall performance so far. But the leader is coming in the clubhouse. Nadia Komanichi did a 9-9 on her optional. She's at 19-5. And Tushavera, who was the gold winner in the vault, a 19-4. And so Inega Veari right now sitting in the bronze position at a 19-2. Now here's Nelly Kim. She rolled a 9-8 for her compulsory beam performance. She'll get the half point, and she rolls a 6 on a C, and a 6C is a 995. And so 1975 gets her in a metal position. Nelly Kim of the Soviet Union. So here's Gitta Escher. She had a 9-9 her first try out in the compulsory. Now the optional performance. Reading out of the C column, it's going to be no help, and an 11C is a 9-8. And a 19-7, so she can't win it, but she's still in the middle position now, currently sitting in the silver. Now Olga Corbett, who rolled a 9-9 in her first, in her compulsory, now is going to go for the optional. And there's, well, she'll get the half point. Lots of oohs and ahs, but 11. Well, it's a 995. That's better than we thought. And right now, she's sitting in the catbird seat. She could take a gold here in the beam. A full tenth of a point above Nellie Kim, her 
fellow compatriot and Gitta Escher of East Germany. Now to Dora Ungaranu, who was a silver medalist in the bars, now on the beam. From the A, she will not get the help. I believe that's only a 9-9. Nine, nine. nine on an A is a 9-9. Nine, nine. That's going to be a silver. And we don't need to roll from middle positions at all. Olga Corbett, four years later, has won the gold on the balance beam. A combined score of 19.85. Ungaranu of Romania gets another silver. And Nelly Kim of the Soviet Union takes the bronze with her 9.95. We'll add it up and then get you set for the floors in a moment. So Olga Corbett gets her gold medal. Two tremendous performances on the balance beam and just a scooch better than Ungaranu of Romania. That was her best event, but still her second silver of the competition. And Nelly Kim of the Soviet Union silver in the vault and bronze on the balance beam. Komenichi a 9-6 and a 9-9 only adds up to fifth. So a weak performance on the vault gold on the bars and now on the balance beam and so we go to the floor where she will certainly be the heavy favorite along with Nellie Kim and Ludmilla Tereshava who was the gold medalist in the vault. Again as with everything else in the individual apparatus events compulsories for the floor competition as in everyone will do the same floor exercise and then the optionals. And so the three medalists should be Nelly Kim, Nadia Komunichi, and Ludmilla Tereshava. Outside chances, Olga Corbett, Tadora Ungunuru, Anna Poldukra of Czech, Czechoslovakia, and Marian Kish of East Germany. And so we'll talk to you after we did the compulsories here. And again, it's a straight point. There's no point fives in the compulsories. We're gonna make some changes for Tokyo, I think and the optionals will get that. So we'll roll those for you and be right back. So the one that's getting the tens isn't Komenichi. Nadia had a 9-9 on her performance with the Blue Danube, I believe, was the compulsory pick for the music. And now the originals, Nellie Kim got her second 10 of these games on the compulsories on the floor. And so the silver medalist in the vault the bronze medalist on the beam, and she's looking for another medal here on the floor. Komunichi and Tirshieva with nine nines. Ungonaru and Geta Escher with nine eights. Ungonaru trying for her third medal of, this, of these games, and remember the point five thing will come in. Not a great floor routine for Mary and Kiss. She stumbled a bit. Nine six couldn't land one of the landings, she stumbled and almost fell out of bounds. Uh, Chase has had a good games. Uh, this was one of her better events, and she had a 9-7. And rumor is that she's going to go with Van McElroy's The Hustle as her uh, floor exercise music. So we'll pick it up with Geta Escher and do the last five here on the floor. So down to the last five rolls here. Olga Corbett at 1955, a 985 on her optional floor, along with Marion Kish of East Germany, who had a much better optional floor. She did hers to the Flight of the Valkyrie from Wagner. And so they are currently in the clubhouse with a gold medal at 1955. And Mariana Constantine of Romania with a 9-8 in her optional has a 19-5, but pretty much the stage is set now. Gitta Escher, this is not her strongest event, and she's going to be upset. She had two chances to medal in the vault and the bars and couldn't do it, but here on the floor, and she's got some traditional German march number, and she's going to read off the C. She's going to get the half point because it's an even num an odd number. Six and three is nine on the C, and that's nine eight, and so she's gonna get a 985. And 
Her 1965 puts her into a medal position at the moment. Now to Dora Nagainaru of Romania. She already has two silvers on her dance cards, on the bars and on the beam, and now on the floor. Out of the B, it's going to get a half a point, 10B985. And so for the moment, she's at 1965 and trying to get, we'll see. So here is Tushevera of the Soviet Union. She got the gold in the vault. Just missed on by a tenth of a point on the bars and was not really in contention on the balance beam. But a good 9-9 nine -nine for her floor compulsory and now on the optional, some Tchaikovsky. Well, she's not going to get the half a point. Six and three is nine, and that's a nine nine. And that puts it at 19 eight, which is good. Now, Komenichi, can you guess what we're going to do for her music? It's the theme for the young and the restless. Victor and Nicole, of course, are they buried? Are they not buried? Do they care? Are they too old? Who cares? So, Komenichi. She will not get the, oh, 13. Just not her games, man, it's a 9-8. And she falls into no better than a silver. And so Nellie Kim of the Soviet Union, she aced her compulsory, and now in the optional, she can win this with a, anything above an 11. Actually, she can win it with a 985, right? Yeah. She can roll a 13 with an odds. So here we go. Nellie Kim looking for her third medal and she rolls a 17. Oh my goodness, it's a 9-6. She stumbles. She stumbles. And so Tushavera, Tushavera of the Soviet Union is going to win her second gold. Komenichi is going to win a silver. And Nelly Kim, my goodness gracious. She stumbled, she fell out of bounds in the optionals. And so she fell right out of metal contention. And so now Ungaranu Unger and Escher are gonna fight for who wins the bronze. Unbelievable. Ungarano rolls a zero, so anything above a one gets it for Escher. Oh. Yeah. So Escher and Komenichi. Actually, what I'll do this this. We'll make it clean. So let's do some sorting and some metals. So with all the adjustment and the shrink of the screen so you can see it, Tushavera's 9-9 and 9-9 won her the gold on the floor. And so she will get two golds in the individual apparatus. Nani Komodichi, the heavy favorite coming in. She did get a gold on the bars. But a mediocre routine on the optionals on the floor, despite her music, only got her the silver. And get it, Escher, who really struggled early on, ends up with the bronze. And so Nellie Kim, she fell out of bounds. She had a 10 in the compulsories and only a 9-6 on the floor and failed to medal. She and Ungarano, who had two silvers for Romania, uh, did not medal. And so there you go. Uh, 
that's my screen. So, oh, we hope that you liked this presentation here of RS Anonymous, the 1976 Montreal Summer Games individual apparatus gold medals. We gave away four. And so, and the big surprise is Nani Komenichi not only didn't get a 10, she only took a gold and a silver out of the four events. She was A rated in three events, and the balance beam was her undoing. She had a 9 6 in the compulsories and could not survive that for the medal. And so, it's amazing how much history changes, and yes, there is some variation. So, when we do this for Tokyo, we'll probably break this up into six parts or whatever. Oh my God. Uh, but we will, and so there you have it. So that is the women's individual apparatus on this week's Omnibus. I'm Ron Juckett. We'll have more for you as we prep for the summer of Tokyo. Thank you so much for watching. We'll talk to you the next time.